Hello everyone and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. I hope you're all well. We're just scrolling through our town now. Look at this, man. The buildings are just... I'll never get bored of it, you know? It's so beautiful. I'll try and spin it around so you can get a real good look as we go around here. We're following uh, our friend Liella. Cool name. Cool name. But yeah, I hope you're all well. Welcome back. And uh, if you remember where we left off in the last episode, so quick, quick, quick recap. We've got uh, these all upgraded here. We're kind of developing some new things in the way of weaponry there. I still don't know about the the heavy metal armor. I could have sworn you could make that. I am recording multiple, so if you have already told me what the hell I'm doing wrong in the comments on that one, then that's fine. I will get to it eventually. But yeah, uh, we're going to get down, I think, a fourth arborist building today to kind of just cover us off here. Everything else is good, I think, but we are kind of low on the laborer front for the amount of stuff we're doing so if we look in here hide coats is going to be one of the ones we need to sort we did get our fourth cobbler here i'm still going to put that up either way i want to get a surplus of shoes it's always a problem so hopefully we can get to that point shortly um i'm tempted to make use of this tower and move it down to a defensive position now as well because it's kind of wasted at the moment, in my opinion. So I think this tower, if we can flatten an area over here, we can cover off this whole wall, can't we? I think that's a good shout. So let's see if we can get a small flattened area over here. Maybe let's go in front of this, potentially. Let's see if we can flatten this out. I don't know if that's going to work. I'll set that priority as well, see if we can get that one done. And uh, hopefully we can move that tower over there. Let's speed it up though and we'll, we'll get going on that. I also was thinking, once this sand pit runs out and this coal, we could potentially just reduce down anyway and have our wall along here like we were originally going to do and just shoot from the top, you know? This is almost pretty pointless over here. It's not doing that much in the way of wood. So I'm just going to move that over. See if we can get a little bit more there as well. Yeah, because we're obviously covered here now for every part of the wall, which is awesome. This one, not so much in the way of height, but it's still going to get shots on them anyway. The height just means insanely more damage. So yeah, and then we probably need to get one more over here. But I've set up a bit of a doubling up here as well. So we're working on getting the walls doubled and stuff along here. We've got plenty of stone to do so. I'm going to continue it on. We're going to go all the way to there. And then we've just got this corner here to do. And then down the bottom, which we'll get to eventually as well. And we'll try expand our base a little bit more as well. But other than that, we're, we're in good standing, I think. Year 47. Still okay on the food front. I think we've got the first year with the weed levels going down and then we can get onto the food. I can actually save myself some grief and start working on this. And I think this one's going to be a carrot rotation one anyway. And we'll keep the fertility up with the uh, with the stuff anyway. They're pretty much just doing their thing and we don't need to worry about it. Now my one concern here is going to be this. So when this one's dry, what are we going to do? Don't think we have any good coal anywhere. There's some like, but they're quite far away and I don't want to rely on them heavy. There's sand here, so that's good. And there's obviously loads of sand here and clay, so that I'm not worried about that. But yeah, the coal, we might need to go on to charcoal kiln, which I really don't want to do. You know what? Let's finish off uncovering this section here as well. Uh, was there coal down this way? No, that was the iron, wasn't it? 500 iron that we may get to one day. Probably not, though. I uh, previously mentioned on the uh, the Steam sale as well. Uh, let me know what games you're, you're looking at buying, actually, as well. I uh, If there's any that are really similar to this, other than, I think, Foundation, well, this kind of art style, too, I'd love to know, because, yeah, I think it would be fun. Right, let's, uh, let's get... Actually, I think we need to hold fire on our thingy. We're okay at the moment. When they're not building, we're perfectly fine. I think we just need to get people to grow up, but... Yeah, we've still got the trees going here. I should select the closer ones. Just been doing this kind of around the base. Um, it, it's kind of handy because it keeps us on top. And by the time they've done them, they're good to go. So they kind of just grab these when they can. Pretty good. 
But yeah, that'll do. I think we'll grab those ones and then we are good. Um, we're not going to upgrade this barn just yet. It's a bit of a waste. We've got no cows in there. We'll keep upgrading these. But let's get through this winter period. All right, we're just coming into the new year here. I'm very happy with uh, our walls. I don't think they can get down that bit. Let's double check. No, we're fine there. We've got a double wall all the way to here. So we just need to finish this section and then we are good there. Now this is a blind spot. It's probably the best way of putting it. So we will need a tower here eventually. But that's okay. Six new livestock born. Amazing. So, okay. Yes, finally another one in there. That one's going to slowly work its way up then. So we are going to do the same thing here. We're going to go to 14 and... The reason I'm doing it this way is I don't want to end up with no food and stuff and obviously the hides and that. We did buy some in, so it wasn't the end of the world. But as you can see, we've got no hides or anything here. We will have some shortly when they uh, when they slaughter those ones. But yeah, it's a bit of a problem. But furniture is looking real good now. There's one thing we can hope for is that we end up getting a trader in that's going to buy all these. Um, and then we'll be in a really, really good spot. I think bricks, we should get on top of that again eventually. But yeah, those those warthogs, the boars, they literally kill off my people so fast. Actually kind of, uh, kind of annoying. But yeah, let's see where we're at then when we get these going. I'm hoping we can get the upgrades going over here as well. We just need a little bit more of desirability we need to work on. Again, I didn't want to waste too much money. Now we've got that park to upgrade get these ones up as well which we're gonna need some bricks for i think if we just get these bricks back out so we can carry on with our upgrades then i think that's probably a good idea and then we'll look at these let's get that one going and then let's see what we've got oh look at this look at this this is so good yes we're gonna need the spices though so we're in a bit of a we're gonna have to buy in a bunch of spices but that's fine we're gonna make a whole wedge back on that Perfect. You've got so much money. Take all the cheese. And then, nothing else really. Look how much wheat we've got. Kind of slowing down on that. Would have been better if you were selling those, but it's okay. That is the perfect trader. It's a shame we can't get even more in. I might just do that. See if we can get a few more. You know what? Let's do 15. That'll be fine. And the glassware again as well. That is something we could potentially accommodate too. And I think baskets. This is what I should be doing. More baskets. They do make good money. Our one is over here. I'm going to move these out. So we're going to go in here. And I'm going to move that one as well. So they're together. I'm going to slowly move things around. So uh, let's do it like that. And there's two basket shops there. That's a really good merchant though. The moment they fill these up, I'll be selling them again. Not very often you get that, is it? Come on, you. Oh, they're being used in the... Uh... Oh, no, they're probably being moved over. Here we go. We'll be selling these straight on. Look at that. The gold. Don't know how much we can store in here, though. And we'll do the same for the cheese as well. Just basically take this thingy's money. Maybe more spices, though. I think probably good to stock up on them, isn't it? Especially when they're reduced price, in all fairness. So... Grab even more, and that's more gold we can take back off you by selling some more. The doubling up on the furniture was actually a really good thing to do. Uh, preservus. I don't know if we need another preservus building, but I also want to get another glass maker. You know what? Oh, there's another trader coming. Let's see what he's got before we commit to that. I think glass maker will be one soon. I'm not building any more houses just yet um, because there is just no need. It's tempting to put a composting bin down here as well, just out the way. See what our second trader has. Very nice. Okay. 14 people. Come on in. I mean, yeah, why not? Right, you can take all our pottery and all of these. And then you've got nothing. Ah, oh, the other trader's just gone. That's fine, though. We're good. Um, that's a good money earner. And there's also coal in here. So let's buy up. Let's buy up all that coal. And let's buy in some more iron as well. Maybe not loads, because I don't want to burn my gold down too much but there we go we're looking good let's uh transfer in a bit more pottery and a couple more of these so on the third farm by the way i've put in another flax on rotation so you'll see it here 
We're working these down now. That one can go. Uh, I think we can get maybe a sneaky sneaky turnip in there or something. Is that good? I think that one will be fine there because it gets colder. We can start rotating that one out. We'll probably be doing that on this one. And get some extra food that way. Um, and then we'll get our arborist in when we get people growing up. I think we're pretty good here. But up to that. Make sure everyone else is good. Oh yeah, we just got loads come in, didn't we? Oh, now we can do our glass maker then. Uh, you know what? Let's be a little bit smarter about this. And let's put a sand pit first. And then a road from... Which way do we want to go? I think we come from this one. So I'll just bring this road out. And then we'll bring that up to here. Like so. And then we'll get another glass maker on the go. That should be more than we need. Now these are really bad for pollution. So where's the other one? Up there. I think we can get away with putting one in here. I want them close together anyway. It doesn't affect our houses here. There are some we could get up as well. Oh, look at our gold. Holy crap. They're selling the spices at the market, aren't they? They've got to be. Um, okay, it's time to boost this area. I'm leave if you've noticed, I'm leaving a bit of a strip along here because I want to put some trees down. Um, and I've got this little section in here just to boost those up as well. But yeah, the my thinking was to get the trees in. Put one of you there, and then we can look at that afterwards, I think. Let's have a look. 60... Those guys are pretty much good for the next one, so we'll get those up to the uh, the smaller mana ones there. And we won't do these ones just yet. This is no problem. I'm not worried about this. Now we've got our market room. Look, we can kind of see. I think once this is full, that's going to put us up almost max pop with a three, isn't it? We should be all right. Looking good on everything now, though, I think. Uh, we could even put in another potter. Don't think we're going to need more brickies. Let's just focus on glass first. Because we're doing two things here, aren't we? Let's prioritize that one. And then we'll get... We'll, we'll probably... Four workers in that one, maybe. What about these guys down here, then? They've got to be pretty damn close, haven't they? They are. Okay. What we'll do, then, is get this one upgraded. It, maybe I do need another brick furnace in. In all fairness. Resources. Maybe three will be all we need. It's more coal, though, isn't it? Hmm. Where do we put this as well? We just don't have the space. Huh. It's a big one, isn't it? The brick furnace. Uh, what I could do is change this up again. Got the grazing area there. The fence can go along there, can't it? I don't know why I did it so weird on the last episode. Yeah, let's do that and then we can make room for my uh, thingy here. Or we'll just... I think we'll destroy that one. Oh, there we go. We should have a room for a bricky now. So, resources. Let's get our bricky in here. Perfect. And then we still got a bit of row as well. That's worked out really nicely. Uh, predator's attacking over here. He's going to die to the tower anyway. We do need to get a thingy around that, but I think we'll be alright. Three new born as well. How are we doing resource-wise here? I'm going to let the furniture build back up before we try and make a load of money on it again. Look at the beer. Crazy, man. Definitely a good idea on the bricks, though. We might need to get a um, kiln down. You know, let's check on the glass makers. Just need some bricks, and this one is down. So we're going to pop that up to four. We're going to upgrade this one so they can actually run away when they get attacked. And that probably does mean we're going to need the tower in there. But that gold income from whatever we did is pretty damn impressive. So I'm going to go ahead... Pop one here. It's got a pretty good vantage on some of it. And then we'll get a the same again. We'll do a bit of a wall around this sucker and a, a gate there as well. And then we'll get through the winter. I think I've pretty much got these down to a T, you know, these farms. I'm not even having to touch them. They're all max harvest. Now, we probably need to chill out on the wheat a little bit. Because, my God, we've got issues here. Wheat, carrots, buckwheat. We haven't got any of that this year anyway. You see like these ones, like why have I got... Let's just check here. If I go resources, 7,000. You know, I think we've, we're have we overdoing it. So I'm going to bring this down here and I'm actually going to put in something else. 
And it does mean we can start pickling those as well. I do think getting on top of that, they seem to always be buying the clothes. So another flax would not be a bad shout. Let's try just reducing it down that much. Let's check in on the livestock here. There's still three in there. That's good. We'll get one slaughtered in each of those. Probably put that population up by one more. We're surviving, aren't we? That's the main thing. And then we'll do 15 on that. Perfect. And I'll probably... What have we got here? Four. Let's go five in there. We'll stick to two in there until they get up to five or so. But yeah, gold is looking absolutely juicy. What I will say is there was a really good... Some like insane sales on some of this. We could do greens. Hmm. We've got our thingy here. So we're going to pop that up to five on the glass maker. And we're going to see if we can get a little bit of a surplus on those. Oh my god, 182. They're about to do their preserves though. So we'll chill on that. And I think we get an extra weapons too. But yeah, uh, hide coats is a bit of a problem. And I don't think we've got any hides spare. We're struggling on that. Look how much pickled stuff we have. That's actually just four of them in there. And it's been, yeah, it's been great. I mean, food-wise, we're really good then. Checking on the markets here. Everything is covered. A little bit of a waste here. I had some houses did upgrade after I did the thing over here. So we've got these two that aren't quite there yet. That one, that one's almost there. So if we can maybe boost these up. I'm thinking a little strip right here will do nicely. And a little strip in there as well. Should be good. Covers off a whole bunch. All right, let's check in on the traders right here. All right. Yes, exactly what we need. Buy in a few of those. Let's just buy, buy those. We've got people running out. And let's buy in all of your hides. And they've got some tallow. We're buying a little bit more tallow. Keep the soap on the go there. And I think could make some money from these. I might hold fire. Because that is a very reduced amount. We could make quite a bit more than that. Uh, beer, I'm happily, I will happily sell that though. Because there's so much in stock for us here. So we'll get 500 more in there as well. Then we should be good. Also get a couple more of these in. That made us so much money. There we go. I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to move this one over. So we have flattened a bit of ground here cover off this area. I'm not even going to put anything around it. It's just to completely cover that area. Saves us worrying. Right, trader in them. About to come in a second trader. I'm not selling to this one again. He's a bit of a, a bit of a thief. Thief of stuff. You know, you're the same. Hey, there we go. That is some expensive pottery right there. Uh, you don't have the amazing amount of money, but... Ooh, take a bit of that off you. We are burning through that stuff, so we're definitely going to need that. And you can take all of this please. That'd be wonderful. Um, any we can make from you? Anything else? Potentially not. Beer, we may as well sell a whole batch again. And then transfer in 500 more. No, there's something we could do in the way of honey as well. That's getting a little... Uh, we're good. We're good. We're going into the summer. We're about to get some more, so we are fine. All right, we're maxing that. Let's get a surplus of sand. I'm pretty sure our pit's still going. Oh, that clay pit's almost out. Yeah, that one's still going. Let's uh, let's max that one out. We'll finish this one up then. I'm pretty sure we'll we'll end up going back up on that. We've got some stuff here. Clay is good. Bricks are back on track now as well with that extra one in there. So we'll just leave the two the two people working there. And all in all, we're pretty good. I'm slowly increasing the builders where needed for repairs as well. And then we're we're gonna need to get on top of the trees again. There we go. We got loads of food now. All right, let's check in flax. None. Okay, you guys stocked up. So he seems to just disappear. You guys are making too many. Yeah, we had 600 a minute ago. It's all gone. One, how much is it for one piece of clothing then? Uh, we should have some on the rotation here. I think there was a year. Next year, we got one bunch here. So another eight. There we go. And then we got two more the next year. I think another one the next year there. We are good. We are so full on wheat though. I don't know whether it's worth milling up more flour. Yeah, second person in there. Maybe another baker. Have we got bakers doing their things? You guys make some bread? What about you? You want to make some more bread? Yeah, let's put it in these two. Get some more bread on the go. That should work out nicely. 
Oh, I see another trader coming. We just had a few people grow up as well, which is awesome. See if we can make some bankaroonie here. I've just started transferring in some clay, and look at that. That's pure luck, but I might even buy some wood. Just for the sake of buying it. There we go. We can make serious money from my clothing from you guys. A bit more off you. All I want to do is get a surplus to cover us off later on if we need it. And I'm going to keep bringing in the hides where we can as well. You know? And I think I'm also going to buy in a bit of your stone. And then we should be good. I think everything else. Uh, you've got some good gold, so just... Buy up some of that clay when you can. And what we'll do is put in both cows into there. We'll try and bring this one up. I think that's a good idea. Alright, so as you can see, we've got eight soldiers here. Now, we do have the option to upgrade. Um, it kind of gives us a good range thing on this, but I don't know if it's even worth it just yet. I think we'll hold fire. But not even... So we were around year 100 last time we played. Now, I do think waste is going to have to be dealt with here, so... Sorry, I mean, I just completely changed what I was saying there, but I think... For the sake of it, I don't think we're going to be building houses up until this point. Up to here, so I'm actually going to go ahead and put a composter there as well. I'm hoping it'll fix the issues here. We're almost at 500 pop, though. Look at our food stores, too. Oh, getting a very full. They've all got barrels in as well, so... Yeah, those guys are pretty damn full then. So let's, um... Let's get one more food store as well then. I've had just one Cooper going for a long time, and it's just... It's covering us off greatly, if I'm honest. It's been really good. Right, what have we got behind there? So we've got one, two, three. Rat catchers there. We could probably put one more there. I want all my food in there. All right, sand is just hovering around this number now, so that's good. Um, we are kind of making way too much of these. I'm going to be selling some as well, but I'm going to reduce that one down to eight, I think. We'll, we'll, we'll see if that covers us off here, and then we'll need to look at honey real soon as well. The beer is kind of doing well for sales too, but they, they produce so much, like so much. And we do have spare people, so we're okay. We're about to hit year 50. So, pretty wild, if you ask me. We've got to carry on doing the wall. This bit's completely covered. That bit's good. We are covered all the way to here. So, let's do this bit first. So, like, there's nothing up here that... They're going to have to run past towers when they get in anyway, is my thinking for a lot of this, right? So... Let's go to where we can. I think there's issues with the ramp there, so that's fine. And we will double up on this bit as well. Let's go to where it'll let me. And we'll bring that to there. We're getting a gate. Just got your gate there, and then we should be good. This one, they can't do a lot. They have to come through there anyway. So that's good. What are we on? Gold is pretty incredible right now. Um, as you can see, we're stocking up. We've got 148 glassware in here now that we will be selling as well. And uh, obviously the, the wicker stuff we're doing as well is good. Sand's going back up. We're still, we still have loads of resources. Look at this. Willow is crazy. Probably get another one. They don't make that many per year, do they? And th literally just those. So why not, actually? I neglect those every time. And they're actually really, really good. So uh, let's get a... There's our wicker. Wicker maker. There it is. Basket shops. I'm going to get two more. Two more basket shops. We're just looking at luxuries over here as well. We're fine on everything, I think. We're just going to need to keep an eye on candles for the housing. And I know that they use glassware in there. If worst case is we can grab another one. I think we've got... Yeah, we've got tons of that as well. We should probably be getting candles done then. Oh, man. So much. Right, where's my candles? There it is. Candles. Okay, we'll pop you there. And we'll get another candle shop on the go as well. Happy days. Right, we'll do one more round. Oh, theatre. Um, what was that? Increased upkeep. Let's do it. We're upgrading the theatre. Boom. That's going to cost us a lot of gold, but that's fine. Please be buying. 
Right, you're rubbish. You're not buying anything. So candles we're going to be working on, aren't we? Everything else is okay. Is there anything we should buy in? The answer is no. All right, putting that compost down here is working wonders over here now as well. So that's perfect. These should, I think, we should be working on at least getting something cool over here. I'm feeling a big statue somewhere, you know? All right, let's check our radius here. I'm feeling one in here. I don't know why. I'm just feeling a big statue there, you know? They're very expensive, though. 1,800 gold. We've still got... Uh, that's too much, man. It's so expensive. Worth it, though, right? Let's hold fire. Let's keep on top of these guys first. Right, Trader 1 was rubbish, wasn't he? Oh, yes. You don't have that much money. Ooh, okay. I think it's time to buy in some of these plate armors, then. Let's buy and transfer three of those. You can take all that cheese. We'll take a bit more of your gold back and all that beer. Thank you very much. We're going to transfer in another 500. He's got no money, but that's fine. We should have candle production going up soon as well. And I'm also going to buy in another two more. Our soldiers are going to be absolutely tanking with those. And I'm going to buy in... Three more heavies as well, and then we should be good. Let's buy in some smoky fish. Let's not buy in any. We don't need any. we got so much food. Look, the, he's buying the glassware as well. All right, we're going to take all his money, man. Look at this. Wild stuff. All right, let's transfer out. Loads and loads of gold again. All right, take some more of that. We'll take whatever you've got left, sir. Thank you very much. Lethros of Cardell. And let's fill up the cheese again. And we'll let the glassware pick back up. We'll grab in a bit more pottery again. Everything else is fine. And now we've just made that absolute loaded amount of bank. I'm going to put in a statue over here to kind of... It's going to be cool, you know? And then I'm going to put in one more. Now, this isn't going to help anything, but I want to put it here anyway. Just to match that, you know? And then that's our thing good there. Come on, tower. Don't let him kill me. There we go. Lovely stuff. I'm hoping to see my soldiers now geared up. So we've got five of them with the plate mail and they've got their heavy weapons, man. They are absolutely tanking. So we'll, we'll be good. Um, as long as we can keep a massive gold surplus, we should be fine. I think the eight will be enough for the next attack by far. We've got a good perimeter covered now. Our weakest part's here, but there's nothing over here. We've got the one that's covering here. And we're going to need to flatten this. In order to put the, I believe, the walls in. So I'm going to do something like that. And then see if we can put that in after. Um, this one tower up here, I'm pretty sure, is going to annihilate anything that comes here as well. So that's good. Villager died from old age, no problem. And I've been putting in a couple of uh, basic wells everywhere to try and make sure we are good. So let's make sure we're upgrading here. So I've put in two more. 15 people, come on in. Holy crap. Look at our population. Right, now is the time to just ramp up production here, especially on baskets. Two more of those. We should be pumping those out now. And candles. Baskets and candles, man. Let's get that up to four as well, because it doesn't cost anything other than those. And then we should be good. Now, I'm expecting bursts on all of these now, so six there. That's great. What are we on here? 15 of 15. Let's up this again before we forget. There we go, and then we'll, we should be good. A mine is out of ore. No problem. Right, we are out of ore on that clay pit. Let's get rid of that. Resources, clay pit. That will keep us going forever, to be honest. And then we'll prioritize these two. There we go. Lovely stuff. Problem solved. That one, though, sand is kind of worrying. There's only... Well, I say only. We're going to have to just buy it in when we see it again, like last game. All right, impending blizzard. What we're going to have to do... Sure, oh, uh, the statue's about to finish. Boom, look at that. Instant upgrades on a few of these around here. Awesome. What we're going to have to do is get a... I think our next hospital is going to be somewhere over here. Uh, we'll do it on just, just on the outskirts of maybe this and this. I think that'll be perfect. As you can see, we can still accommodate quite a bit around here. Oh, look at this. Oh, you beauty. That is a beautiful thing, is that theatre. Holy crap. All right, we're good on the bricks, though. Once I know once all these upgrades, it costs even more, but that's fine. We'll be okay. 
All right, we're in the middle of uh, the winter, about to go into year 51. Look at everyone just going back to work after the winter. This is crazy. But that is going to be where we end out, guys. So if you could just smash a thumbs up on the video for me, it's a massive help. And if you are new around here, please do consider subbing to the channel as well. As always, guys, do take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one.